What's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. We're building 2021 Ford F-150 Platinum. We got this truck from a salvage auction with a right side collision. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out and be up to date. Live auction, uh, me taking the truck apart and all the way to this point. So in this video, part two, we just got the parts. So we're gonna start working on the truck. We got lots of work ahead of us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and turn your bell notification because we post new videos every week, new week, new video. Don't forget to like this video as well. Now for this talk and let's get to work. I got the truck inside of the shop so we could start working on it. And I already got the whole section, the whole side of the car the skin but we're not gonna replace the whole thing it's not necessary i'm just gonna do a section cut it right here cut it right here and then cut it right here replace what's damaged this is like paper this is aluminum so very soft and i know some of you guys are gonna be in the comment section hey vlad you should have changed the whole thing in my opinion it's not necessary you know why would you mess with the rest of the panel when it's just the upper section is damaged so replace what's only damaged and don't do any other extra work that it's not necessary and it's gonna be as strong as, as the other you know for me making a little cut it's not gonna make a difference but still gonna be strong we're gonna reinforce it and it's gonna be even stronger so that's the plan for that and then obviously we got a new hood brand new hood and fender so the rest is plug and play and then hopefully I could repair this rear door as well because the this is aluminum the whole door is aluminum and the guy hit right in this uh, section so hopefully this will come out because I want everything working properly so we'll mess around with the door a little bit later so for now my main focus is to replace the upper roof section should be hopefully fairly easy it's just a bunch of spot welds up here up here up here up here and that's it and let's go check out the new panel that i got here is the new panel that's the hood brand new hood and that's the panel look how big that is massive and then we got the fender up here as well so let the fun begin how they say let's do this Just remove the seats, this way I have room to walk around and do the surgery the proper way. And I already made my uh, marks where I'm gonna cut it. So this is where I'm gonna cut this one right here, right here, and right here. This way we'll just replace the damaged part and we should be good and it'll be stronger than ever. Let the surgery begin. <laughs> Go. A little progress just removed the upper roof panel and i got my little helper with me today what are you doing they're working you're removing the seat belt yeah. 
Откручиваешь болтик. I removed the old skin, cleaned everything up, so everything looking good. It was quite a bit of work, I'm not gonna lie, lots of glue holding the old panel and you gotta remove everything super carefully so you don't damage any other parts, especially on the roof. Let me show it to you guys. Check it out, everything clean up here, removed everything, so pretty much what holds the skin, uh, glue and rivets, spot welds or whatever you wanna call them. And then up here, it tucks in under the roof. So I had to remove everything super carefully and then it's gonna go underneath and then has a caulking on top. But this is what it looks like. Pretty strong reinforcement heavy duty. So this is what keeps you alive if the vehicle flips. Everything's cleaned up, so we're ready to start test fitting the new one. And this is our new panel. So we're gonna do a clean cut here, clean cut up there and up here. We're gonna replace whatever is damaged, anything else is unnecessary. And the way this panel is designed, there is marks. So I guess you could section anywhere you want. You don't have to replace the whole piece. So let's say the bottom section is damaged. There's a little arrow where you could cut it and then just do a clean section. So that's the plan. So let's cut the top part out and start test fitting and start welding everything. I'm getting ready to start installing the panel and what I usually like to do, I like to put a patch, a little strip behind the panels so this way you could weld them together. But let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is what's gonna hold two panels together. It's gonna weld and this is gonna be super strong. So I put one right here, I put one right here and one in the front so this way everything is nice and solid it's gonna be stronger than factory so something like this so now we're ready to start installing our panel the panel is right here everything measured and cut and ready to go so let's start installing this bad boy Just installed the panel. I didn't secure it completely. Right now we're just doing test fitting, make sure everything lines up good. Uh, next, I wanna install both doors, make sure gaps are even everywhere. And then we'll remove the panel again. We'll put some binding panel glue. And then for the final, we'll secure it with rivets and weld. So that's the process we gotta go through, but this is what it looks like right now. See, this is what I was talking about. When we're gonna weld them together, there's gonna be a back plate to hold them both together. And same over here, over there, and then on top. It just goes like this, and then you pull this down, and then we'll put glue right here too, the bonding glue. And then for the final, you put caulking on top to uh, hide all those seams but yeah this is what it looks like so let's install the doors and we'll go from there just installed both doors and everything's looking good super happy with the fitment so far so let's check it out check this out so this lines up really well like factory gaps are perfect over here as well so next what i gotta do i gotta work on this door this door is pretty messed up it got pushed in pretty badly so hopefully we could fix this door and the problem with this door it's aluminum so aluminum doesn't really want to bend too much but we'll give it a shot see how everything is before we start welding this upper piece i want to fix the doors make sure everything lines up really well and then for the final we'll secure the upper panel something like this slowly getting somewhere one hour later we got a little progress i just straightened the door as much as i could so i'm super happy with the gaps everything lines up really well and this is what it looks like so next, I'm gonna remove this upper panel and we'll use this 3M panel bonding adhesive and we'll glue how it was before and then on the seams, we'll weld this right here and then at the bottom and then throughout the door, we'll run uh, rivets to secure it and it's gonna be stronger than ever. So something like this, let's go. We're 
getting ready to start welding the panel and we'll be using our aluminum machine once again. And this thing is a beast, been saving us for a while now. Best aluminum machine so far that we used. So let's weld this real quick and then we'll start doing body filler and just get this thing ready for primer. Let's do this. Just welded the panel, so we're all finished with welding and everything is looking good. So right now I just gotta grind all that down so it's nice and smooth. And then we'll apply our first layer of body filler. Just grind everything down so it's super smooth. So now we're ready to apply our first layer of body filler. Check this out. Wow, so smooth. Very nice. And same over here. So everything's smooth. And this is where we're gonna put some body filler right here, right here, and right here. And pretty much we're done with the cab. Then we'll start doing body work right here. I got a little couple things on the roof as well I gotta repair. And that's it. So we'll get this car ready for primer. Hopefully by the end of the day. Let's go. Just finished with the bodywork and the cab. Everything came out good looking, perfect, like nothing happened. Let's check it out. So I had to do a little bit of bodywork here, over here, and in the back. So we're all done with this. So next, what I want to do, I want to start working on the side panel. Had some damage as well. We straightened it, so now I got to do bodywork right here. So that's going to be next. And we're pretty much ready for a primer and start the painting process. Let's do this. Just straightened the side body panel, so everything's looking good. Let's check it out. So this whole panel was pushed in pretty badly, big damage. So we straightened everything out, everything looking good. So now we're ready for our first layer of body filler. Let's do this.
just finished with the body work everything came out perfect like nothing happened so it's ready for a primer and paint let's check it out everything came out perfect right here and the bed was actually pretty damaged the whole side was super wavy so we fixed everything everything is super smooth and perfect so yeah, this is what it looks like. So we're ready for primer. I just received my two airbags from the dealers. So now we could take the seats to the upholstery shop and get them all fixed up. Here's the airbags for the seat, left side and the right side. So both of the seats, airbags deployed and this is what it looks like. So we're gonna take the seats to the upholstery shop. They're gonna change the airbag and they're gonna reupholster the seat and it's gonna look like brand new. We got two seats, drivers and passenger. So let's remove the driver's side and we'll take both of the seats to the upholstery shop and get this progress going. Just removed two seats. Now we're ready to go to a upholstery shop, drop them off and they're gonna restitch them and make them look perfect. Yeah, unfortunately, both of the seats deployed. So we gotta replace them. So let's go drop them off and we'll go from there. Yeah, oh yeah, this one's pretty much identical. That's pretty close, I would say. Like it? Yeah, I think we could live with that one. That's the best out of all the colors. That's it, just dropped off the seats. We got the perfect color, very close to it. Plus it's gonna be on the side, so it's not gonna be popping. It's hard to pick exactly identical car because Ford obviously uses something else that you can just find on the market. But this is really close, so I'm happy with the color. So it's gonna take probably about a week for them to finish the seats, so. Meanwhile, let's go back to the shop and keep working on the truck. Just got back to the shop, so next I want to remove the seat belt because uh, just the driver's side seat belt deployed. So I'm going to remove the seat belt and I'm going to send that out to LNG Solutions. They're down in Sacramento and they're going to rebuild the seat belt and it's going to be as good as new, if not better. So let's remove that and what I usually do, I'll mail it out and it takes about a week and then they'll mail it back to me and I'm ready to install it. and. As good as new. Let's go. We got the truck inside of the spray boot, prepped, masked, and ready to go so Andre could do his magic once again and the truck's gonna look like nothing ever happened. So the plan is we're gonna paint the truck separate and then we'll paint the rest of the parts separate as well because there's too many parts. We got a front bumper, hood, fender, and both doors. So that's the plan, so let's go. Just like that, the truck is painted. Looking good, like nothing happened. Check it out, look at this. Perfect paint job. Wow, came out beautiful. Where was the damage? Nobody knows, except for you guys. <laughs> so next we'll start painting the hood, the bumper, the fender, both doors, and we're pretty much done with the truck. We'll start putting it back together. Let's go.
Just got the truck out of the spray booth and man, it's looking nice. So we're officially done with paint. So we could start slowly putting it back together. So for now, we'll end the video here. Stay tuned for part three and part three. Like I said, we'll start putting everything back together. Pretty much get this truck ready for wash detail and delivery. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, you know what you do. Subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in part three. Do свидания!